Hey guys, it's Rainy. So today I thought I'd just share my opinions on this Kiss Press on Nails. They are from their gel fantasy collection. They don't say that they are black, but they are just black. They are short and you get 28 nails. It's actually the first time that I check out something from their fantasy collection and I thought I would just give this flex a try. I have other nails like press on nails on my thumbs and it's because my thumbs are really not looking great right now. So the kit includes kind of like the standard stuff like the glue, the nail file and the cuticle pusher and a piece of cardboard just to apply those nails. So you get a bunch of different sizes. One thing that I always find with this kiss kits is that the smallest nail for the pinky is not really that small. Like I wish they could make uh, smaller sizes and then just make less of like the middle ones that are like the same size because I feel like you have a bunch of like the same size for the middle ones like the ones that I have in the middle here and just like one for the pinky. If you have like smaller pinkies like I do this is gonna be like too big for you too so this is what the glue for this one looks like it has like a top thing that you have to cut for it to open and because it's a kiss brand I thought they would include the same glue that they included on their nude French I love that glue and I have the review for those ones as well so I always use like the file that they include to just work on my natural nails first and then just glue them they're pretty much ready to go. You don't need to file much after it. And speaking of nail glue, feel free to check this tool that I made. It's like for unclogging your glue. But yeah, this is what the nails look like. And honestly, I love them. They don't break. They have the perfect shape. They are the perfect size. They're not too small or too short. And they are not too long that you can't do anything. To me, these are like the perfect looking nails. They do really look stunning and make your hands look really nice and like elegant, I would say. One thing that I do notice though is that since this is not nail polish, you can remove it. So you have to really be sure about the color that you're going to be choosing because you're going to be gluing that. You have to be committed to the color at least for a few days. To me, when the color is darker, it tends to like overwhelm me or just bore me after a few days and I just have to remove it and start with a new manicure. Because this is like a classic. I mean, it's black. It's a statement, sort of. It's not gonna be so overwhelming to me, in my opinion. But because you're gluing a painted nail, you can go as close to the cuticle as you can without having to worry about getting your nail polish all over your cuticle. And the back is painted as well. I don't like the glue at all. I thought it was like the glue that comes in the other kit. It's like different formula and different bottle. It's not as like a detail applicator in the bottle. As you can see here, it kind of gathers a lot of like glue there and it can get kind of messy and also the formula isn't great at all it doesn't really last but if you can get your hands around the other glue with these nails it would be great but yeah i really hope this was helpful and handy if you have seen these nails and you were wondering about them and just in case you wanted something like festive for October but just settle, know that black nails are just for October or just the colder months. I wear black nails all year round, but maybe you want something kind of festive but more settled. If you're like me and you're just neutral when it comes to your nails, if this was helpful, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and share. check out more nail care at home on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!